All right, today I want to talk a little bit about high school. Yeah, you know high school? High school from the makers of tests. Come, high school, pack your bags, because all of your senses are about to take a trip into education. Rah. I want to give some advice about that. Since I know it's summer and a lot of you out there are probably moving on to a new school or a different stage in your educational career, Specifically today, I want to give advice for all of you freshmen out there. Some of this advice will also apply to just people in school in general. So let's get down to it. First advice that I can give you, numero uno, is read. Yeah, it might sound lame and it might sound stupid and you're probably like, yeah, I've heard this a million times before, but trust me. The best thing you can do for yourself is to read. Reading is like that rare candy that will level you up in the quickest possible way if you were a Pokemon. If none of that makes sense, just read is the quickest way to make progress in your academic career. Not you know what? I take that back. It's the quickest way to increase your intelligence and to increase your knowledge. Just read. It will open up a whole new world for you. Advice number two, which yes, I know it sounds a little bit cliche before I even say it, but be yourself. I know you're starting a new school, you're gonna see a lot of strange faces, and it's easy to pretend to be someone that you're not in order to um, fit in or to seem popular or to, you know, just trust me on this one. Be yourself. There's nobody out there who is going to be exactly like you. And that's the beauty of it. Because when you allow yourself to be unique and to be yourself, people will appreciate you for who you are. I know that you're also very young and just being yourself is not exactly 100% clear because at this stage in your life, you're not even sure of who it is that you are like you're trying new things you're developing into your own person and that's kind of what I'm trying to say here develop into your own person and not into the type of person that you think this girl will like the most or this guy will like the most or these people will like the most how about being someone that you would like the most now high school number three high school is a place where you'll form a lot of habits that will stick with you for the rest of your life. Shout out to all the procrastinators out there. This one is mainly for you. Don't get into the habit of procrastinating. It's a very dark path to go down. I'm not gonna say I wasn't guilty of it because I procrastinated a lot and even now high school was however many years ago for me and I still have to fight myself to not procrastinate. Build as many good habits as you can. Trust me, you're gonna have your good days, you're gonna have your bad days. How you handle those days are building habits for how you're gonna handle good and bad days later on in college and later on in the working world. Just be aware that things you're doing now, habits you're developing now, can stick with you for the rest of your life. Another real talk and I'm gonna keep this one really short, really simple. Your friends will affect you probably more than you will affect them. So be careful of the people that you associate with, the people that you call your homies. If you see them doing certain things that you don't necessarily wanna do for yourself, make that known to them or maybe reevaluate and know that these are the type of people that you wanna be hanging around with. Another good advice, and I consider this to be right up there with the best pieces of advice is don't let fear hold you back. And this is for anybody, anywhere. Don't let fear stop you from talking to that girl. Don't let fear stop you from talking to that guy or for trying out for this team or for joining a club after school. Don't let fear hold you back from anything. That's pretty much it. There is a lot of experiences ahead of you. And high school can be a very rewarding experience as long as you keep your head screwed on to your body. I think I'm gonna stop there for now. 
and I'll do more parts of this video to give a little bit more advice for other people you know in other stages of school I'll try to give the advice to going forward in such a way that it can apply to you know more general audience because I know that the school situation varies based on which country you're in and I want this to be good advice for anybody who would watch the video so um, I'm gonna stop there thank you and peace out from the makers of test 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 and more tests comes another level of school just when you thought you were done with school you have to go to high school